Hello everyone, my name is Dracoman and welcome back to another Redstone video. And in this video, I'll be showing you this beautiful passenger plane behind me. This passenger plane actually works. Now, if you want to see it actually fly, skip to the timestamp that I'll post on the screen right now uh, to see it actually fly. But until then, I'm just going to talk about a couple of the things um, that I uh, made uh, uh, onto this thing, or that I attached to this thing, um, and then compare it to my last plane video, which if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. But on this video, or in this on this plane, the wings are actually one whole piece, and they have little lights at the end, which is, I think was fun. Um, and then in the back, we have lights back here too, and uh, I don't really know what these are called, just miniature wings at the back of the plane, and then a big fin thing at the top. Those are pretty nice. I tried to make it the same color as the this thing, but you know the stairs and the, and the trap doors are not quite the same color as concrete, but I did my best. And then if you go on the inside here, uh, you can see that in my last in my last plane I couldn't actually fit the engine inside the plane because I made it so small but in this one I was able to fit this engine inside the plane and I actually had to make it longer so I had to make the plane even bigger than I did the last one and surprisingly it's actually faster than the other one um, the engine might not be faster but the plane moves at a faster at a faster rate like instead of taking like three seconds to move that part and then move like each each um, slice of the plane um, like, like it was in my last episode, now I can move three sections of the plane all at once. Or not all at once, but one after the other. And it just takes a lot less time to move the whole plane. Um, and so that's really nice. But then if you go into this front section here, we can see that we have pretty, like, first-class stuff here, man. We got, we got nice places to put the suitcases, we have a nice floor, nice chairs. And these chairs actually can move. They are held down to the floor by these, uh, by the slime and the honey. Um, to prevent you from going anywhere so you can actually just like if you sit you can actually sit in these chairs and like look out the window and it's really nice but uh, and then we have some really nice lighting too which is also held into the into the ceiling by these slimes here uh, and then in the front here we can see you can see we have spots for the pilot and the co-pilot right there and then you have here the control stick to steer the plane obviously it doesn't steer the plane but you know it looks cool now we are going to go ahead and start this plane and let's see how do we I think it was over here that I needed to start it yep here it is so if we put a button right there and then press that the whole thing should start oh also one more thing I want to say is that for this pedestal here uh, I put this here it is attached to the floor of course obviously but I put this here to stop the plane so that if I ever wanted to stop it I just come back here put an obsidian here and then eventually the engine of the crane of the crane the engine of the plane would crash into this obsidian and then stop the whole plane from moving. But now, let's start up the plane and see how it runs. Boop. And... There it goes. It's moving, as you can see, it takes one one thousand... It takes one second to move, move from the back of the plane to the front of the plane. Whereas before, it took like two and a half seconds with the purple plane that I made. Once again, definitely go check out that video. I'm really proud of that plane. It is my first plane, and I really, really like it. But yeah, anyways, and then now I want you to ignore the front. The front is as accurate as I could do while staying within the piston push limit while also trying to make it look pointy. That took a long time to get that shape and that and that just general just thing, just that thing. You know, what? okay, just forget about it. Forget about it. Don't just don't even look at the front because it's really ugly. Um, uh, a friend of mine actually enjoys riding in the front, <laughs> which is really funny, but... Ooh, ooh, I almost got crushed there. But as you can see, if you go into these stairs here, you can actually ride along with the plane, as you can see. It's really, really nice. I really enjoy riding in this plane. And if we go to the front here, a moment, go over here, we can actually stand here move along with the plane because when if you're standing on a honey block and the honey block moves you actually stay on top of it which I think is really really nice and then I can you know we could just stand here and control the plane oh well technically this is the co-pilot seat I think pretty sure the pilot sits on the left but yeah I, yeah, I thought this was a really fun plane Ooh, oh anyways so this is the whole plane moving it from the outside as you can see it is pretty fast compared to my other plane the wings take a little bit to catch up you know it's fine all right now let's see if the stopping part of this plane works. So if we place that there, the engine should crash into it and stop working. Yep. And the plane has stopped, as you can see, so we can stop and start this plane. Uh, as long <laughs> before you start it, though, make sure you actually remove the bedrock, because otherwise it's not going to start. 
but as you can see there's the plane working it can stop and start it has it has first class level stuff here in there it has an engine that fits inside the plane which is really really nice i really love that touch and actually that is it for this video so if you enjoyed it leave a like down below go check out my other go check out my channel and if you enjoy those videos then uh consider subscribing because that would help a lot but yeah i'll see you next time